Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nukes No Cogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogules Industry Spy Network and the Cogules Nation. So, you may be wondering, hey, Nukes and Doig, you've made videos showcasing virtual machines of operating systems on your channel. How do I go about doing this too? This video is for you. I just came up with this idea on the fly, so everything I'm going to be doing here is going to be on the fly. But what you're going to need, first things first, you need to enable virtualization. Now I'm on an AMD machine with a Gigabyte MOBO. You need to go into your BIOS and enable a certain setting to allow for that. Let me search up for two links real quick and I'll be right back with you in just a second. Okay, so apparently this link is how you can enable virtualization in your BIOS for your PC. In the BIOS for my stuff, I actually have the, uh, how do I explain this? Long story short, I've made it to where I enabled the either AMD V or I think it is AMD V on my end because of my B550 motherboard, but yours is going to be different. It'll be something like VTX, VTD, SVM, Vanderpool, or whatever. It's a setting in your BIOS settings, so you'll need to do that. So do this real quick, and you'll want to make sure if your um, virtualization is done. Now, I'm using Linux for this one, so there's an egrep command. I will go ahead, grab said egrep command, control shift and V into my terminal, and then this says yes, which means on my end, I think it's going to be probably AMD V. I have that turned on. So if this says yes on Linux, that means it's on. If not, then you'll need to go ahead and turn that on. You can check using this command here. So there is that. Now next, you're going to need a virtual machine. If you're already using a Linux distribution, you're going to need to find a way to get virtual machines. I'm headed back to ChrisTitus.com because he has a guide on how to install QEMU. Here we go. Set up QEMU in Debian Linux. This is the one. The same command is here as well. And then you do this command. All of this is going to be a requirement. You're going to want to do that. I will go ahead and bring up my terminal again. I'm going to set this to always on top. And then I just have to do this because I have install. I have install as an alias for simply sudo apt install. This is all you're going to need in order to turn this on. Or at least get it. Now, once you enter your password, it'll install. This stuff has already been installed on my end. Now, it'll also grab Vert Manager, which is basically your KVM and QEMU uh, hypervisor, if you will. Next, you need to do a quick sudo systemctl status lib vert d dot service. Oh, lib vert d. That's what it was. So, yeah, you see on my machine, it is already running. And the fact that I already have this enabled too, I basically have um, this egrep. It is enabled, so we're fine there. Now, to start the default networking, I'm going to hit Control C. You do sudo versh net auto start default. This will basically start the network after a reboot. And then you need to do sudo versh net dash list all. This will basically, oh, apparently this is not the, that's why. This will basically let you know the states of your default uh, net that you'll be using specifically to connect to whatever Wi-Fi or ethernet you have. This will basically act as a buffer, if that makes sense. Now you need to add these commands, which will basically add you to multiple groups. 
libvirt, libvirt qemu, kvm, which is kernel virtual machine, input, and disk. All you have to do now is reboot and you'll be finished. Now, the video that actually comes with this will be linked in the description below. It is from Chris Titus, again, because why the flip not? It is decently old information from January of last year, but this is still good nonetheless. After that, you need a virtual machine or to get an operating system. I went ahead and installed quite a few operating systems, if I can track that down. It's this one. All of these are the operating systems. Some of them I have actually used on this channel. I have one of them here, uh, Neon. I've got Void. I tried my hand at Void earlier. Uh, I have NixOS, both the minimal and the GNOME version. And ArcOD, though I think I am going to have to get rid of that because I'm going to see a new version of Arco coming, but that's fine. I've got LMDE. I got pretty much a whole butt ton of these operating systems. All of these I think I'll be able to use, especially since I'm going to have to go ahead and switch operating systems soon once we get to Ubuntu 2404 because I'm not using Ubuntu and their silly snap nonsense. But then again, I use a lot of proprietary software sometimes, but not a lot, just very few. I use primarily free software for my day-to-day -day work, but that's just me. That is going to be all for this video today. Thank you and good night.